with their decor placements in preparation for the dragon, or if Fnatic walks into a trap while trying to also get the wards for that dragon. Well, for now, everybody playing really safe, and we can't blame them. Like, this game is balanced on a knife's edge. This is actually, I think, one of the closest games we've seen yet this tournament. Absolutely. I'd say it is the closest game we've seen so far this tournament. Look at the gold. It's dead even right now. You know, SKT just ahead by a single turret. Power level's pretty similar on both teams at the moment. And it's the most subdued we've seen Fnatic play. They've been losing their minds in a lot of these games. As yeah. they started falling behind, they go crazy. Uh, this game, they're making more calculated decisions. And honestly, SKT is mostly playing like SKT, but they're not doing silly things. And they're still trying to play around their win conditions here, which is going to be the Dragons. They had that setback right here, which is what's kept this game close, 23 and a half. You know, even with the scaling that Fnatic has in late game, it's got to be a little bit daunting to know that you're going to have to deal with those SK Telecom teamfight mechanics, but they've held their own so far. I'm trying to set up a pick right now. Yep. Got a pink board in that river chip. brush. Trying to Fnatic, Fnatic. <laughs> hey! Let's see if they get anything. No, they see the ward go down. Just going to sweep it out instead. Wait for the next Dude, minute and a half. What a slow. SKT not comfortable. I can't pick up pushing up too far at this point. I oh, think he's going to take down the Rift oh, Tower, so and he deserves it. In games like this, I always love to track the trinket upgrades. So Fnatic actually has three upgraded yellow trinkets, which means they are spamming things with wards, but it also gives them a very low amount of pick potential because their vision denial is atrocious right now. Yes, they upgraded four of the trinkets, but it's just one upgraded trinket. Oh, oh, they see oh, that, they get the pick. Yep, Hooney trying to make something happen here. Rain over came in. There's a culling to push them away. It looks like SKT will be able to disengage for now. And that all down on Sejuani. Will that be something that SKT can maybe take advantage of here? Dragon up in 45 seconds. Wolf Salt down oh, as, as well, though, too. So uh, that's true. pretty important for tanking out and being on the front line. And he heading back into the top side at the moment. Faker going to recall and start to set up. Currently, though, SK Telecom has control over that river. And everyone has been pushed back a little bit here. Waves slowly moving forward in favor of SK Telecom. They're going to have to deal with Marin in the bottom at some point. Yeah, this is, I feel like the Alistair Alt versus Sejuani Alt and Sivir Alt is a worthy trade for SKT in that sense. Oh, yeah. I think another reason Fnatic has gone for the triple sites wards is they know that SKT needs to find the picks. And also, Fnatic doesn't necessarily need a vision advantage in order to find fights. Since they do have Sejuani, Sivir, Nautilus, those are fight starters right there. As soon as you look at someone, you can run straight at them and try and get it. Speaking of fight starters, we may have one here in the next couple seconds. SK Telecom, though, taking that position. Looks like they may just go ahead and grab Dragon. Without Sejuani Alt or Sivir this is a dangerous fight. Yo, but they're teleporting, teleporting in coming Nar right now. Alistar grabs Bang. Bang backs into the pit here. They're trying to make something happen. Bangy already taking a lot of damage. Wild Growth use on him. Dragon taken by SK Telecom. Can they get out? Hooney comes in with a big Nar ult. Meanwhile, Marin very low behind the pit. They'll get the kill. Kill on to Bengi. So Fnatic grabs a kill, but SK Telecom getting that crucial third dragon. A little awkward positioning there from Bang, and they yeah. had to use the wild growth onto Nunu, which meant that they couldn't actually defend that adequately. Now, Look they may try for a Baron right oh here. Boy. If anything, this is also a Baron oh boy. Now the initiation ultimates are up for Fnatic. They are trying to draw yeah. SKT in. Oh, yeah. Because it would be a thing oh, they have to catch the the in trouble. Oh, he manages to get out only slowed by the oh, upper rain over, rain over chasing anyway. Here comes comes Hooney, Rainover gets so low already though, Faker trapped the midline, has to flash away, whimsy himself as well, Wolf may sacrifice his life for the team, oh, Febivin goes in, gets the double up, bang, and Faker in trouble, double kill for Febivin, Marin late to the fight here, and Wolf on his own in the back lines, Febivin with a triple She's in. oh man, a kill for Steelback as well, That's fun, fun, and Fnatic destroys time. SKT in that fight, SKT fell for it right there, okay. Fnatic trigger on the Baron bait. The thing is, SKT had to check because Fnatic with the Cassiopeia has the power to burn that Baron down in seconds. That was the play for Fnatic to pull at Beautiful. the end of the Dragon fight. Yeah, Bang did get slowed right there as we see him come in with the culling, but the chase is very good. Of course, that Sivir ult up, really nice setup, and Faker caught out a bit on the front line, and really it was Febebin with this flash into the choke point right here. Beautiful Set. ultimate from Cassiopeia. And then just the line damage and the 
Ricochets from Sivir finish that one off. Boomerang Blade for a double. They call Steel back the janitor in the European LCS. He'll lose lane, but he will always pick it up in team fights down the stretch. And this was just a continuation of the long con there for Fnatic. The Dragon fight when SKT overcommitted to take it. They had awkward positioning. They burned so many spells doing that. They sacrificed Bengi for the Dragon, but then the low health bars and the fact that people had to recall set up for that Fnatic Baron. So, baby, what'll it be? 100 bucks, man. Who's a dirty boy? <laughs> Baby, you can do me any time. Come on, stud. The night is young. Perfectly. And now Fnatic needs to press that advantage. Oh, they're certainly Baron trying. Uh, they, they are. Bad. Baiting Baron another one up, but the scrying orb's gonna spot him this time. Yep. Not gonna fall for that two times in a row. Mm. SK Telecom may be looking for a fight here, although Marin not around. He does have that teleport. Now Fnatic just turning right onto that Baron. Looks like SKT's gonna spot it. it. Equalizer in the in the Baron pit is tremendously dangerous. That's right. They're gonna come in. There's the Equalizer going down. Splits the team a little bit. Bang still in a little bit of trouble. Zoning out from Bengi. Oh, SKT getting knocked around quite a bit. Bang in the middle of everything. Next way gets killed anyway. We're not done. By steel back. That's another double kill for him on to Sivir. And SKT, it may already be too late. They can't fight this fanatic team anymore. Dragon, I mean, Eric did regenerate, and that's gonna make it a little bit too dangerous. What are you angry? Still pay for this one, but no. Looks yeah. like they'll be able to barely make Come it out. Mate. Even though the Equalizer is down, it's far too dangerous with the Baron Magic Shred to keep on yeah, rolling with the Rumble the and the Lulu at full HP in that pit. Now the Eliminated Bang and SK Telecom clumped up in a very preferable way for Fnatic during that team fight. So take a look. Considering this is 15 kills to 3, these fights are tremendously close. So at the start of this, Wolf does get some nice pulverized damage right there and Bang nearly peels himself to safety, but yes, the fact that they landed the Nar stun into the dredge line is what kept Bang a little bit too close for comfort. Yep. They get caught up in the Cassiopeia once again, and that's that area damage, and the team fight scaling we talk about Fnatic having, but still, if Bang is one character model farther back, he might be able to just... Another bounce pit. It's bad, like, Come on, really tiny errors that have led yes, to I these uh, team fight losses for SK Telecom, but... You know, every fight they lose just gives Fnatic a little bit bigger of a lead, and like we mentioned earlier, with the scaling that Fnatic has going into the late game, you really can't afford to give them any lead. It doesn't matter any lead. It doesn't matter who you are. At some point, he's coming to the early. And I think if you're SKT right now, you're really looking to finally get that QSS on the bank, because that's going to change a lot about these fights, because if Bank can stay alive, he certainly has the farm to pull off some Oh, the Jukes, man. He's throwing out the Jukes. That's what's been slowing him down a little bit, but they probably can't fight again until that... Item is Juke it again, boy. Dragon up in a minute and a half. Looks oh, like you can definitely have an advantage on that one. And oh, they may just try and trade it for Baron. There are a lot of options that they can go for right here. So, sure enough. Tough for SKT because they can play both sides of the river at the same time. But Fnatic has their choice. And Fnatic also has the Sivir ultimate to cover ground in case they're caught between two different decisions. And you can obviously see SKT is respecting that team fight. Oh, he's full right duking him, bro. around that. Baron, but the pinks oh, have just been to be used by the to bring that out. And yeah, they're yep. going to continue to bait out that scrying orb again. Again, now it's all the scrying orb cooldown. SKT has to move up. They have to move up to clear that. But you can see now the lack of trinket is preventing Fnatic from having great vision denial. Here they go. Oh, oh, he didn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> ultimate on the bang. There's what he's got right on. Snar ultimate as well. SK Telecom caught yet again. Wild growth. It keeps Bang alive though. Marin comes in with the kill on the Yellow Star. And Fnatic in a lot of trouble now. Steelback gets roasted. That's a double for Marin. And Bang still up. SK Telecom. They finally save Bang. And look what happens. Marin comes in with a hero play. And Fnatic on the run. And then a little bit of trouble. There's the exhaust. Baker wants it. Bang gets it. Meanwhile, Hootie sticking around. Looks 
like he may be able to make it out. He's trying to defend that tier two, but I don't think you can do that against SK Telecom. Not right now. There it is. So SKT, man, you just can't count these guys out. What a brilliant fight right there from SKT. It was Fnatic pulling the trigger to try and get banged down. But that Nautilus Assault tracks such a long distance that they could not follow enough down for bank. And now the Baron force is here up to Yeah. They start the Baron, they turn on to Rain over. Hooney right there is always about to become Megan. Our wolf, very low health. Hooney comes in from behind, getting in position for that old faker. So he's he's there it is. Whoa! Rain over steals the Baron. Position onto they that. They burned the Civeral, though. Yeah, Civeral is down. Fnatic trying to get the second dragon. They've got the Baron right now. Double mystery gifting activated, guys. Don't forget. It was a Baron. A round 15. Let's go. Oh, oh stolen. Baron. Amari comes in from the back. Gets that. Oh, Devin takes him down. Big wild growth on the bang. That was a big knockup. Can bang be the hero again? Hooney just so tanky right now. Yellow Star coming from behind, and here comes Steelback, another big Nar Ultimate, and Fnatic as they take down Bang. No, Bang's still alive, but either way, it's another team fight win. That is a perfect day for Fnatic after the Dragon Steal from Marin, and Fnatic's going to push ahead. This is at least going to be an inhibitor, I would think. Yeah, at the very least going to be an inhibitor. That's probably all they can get it. right now. Yeah. This is the How that guy just told me. What did he say? Cheese boys. Well, these people. I hope I'm the There's still so many people now. What the fuck? Yeah, hopefully, I'm not enough minions having to take too much turret damage, but still. I wish you could check this one. Carzette, looks like. Oh, 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 and no, no equalizer right there to back up. But even though we see the, the ace go over to Fnatic, they don't take the inhibitor. Go, 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 it's a trash drip. On the back side of the oh, Beautiful Marl from Hoonie. He has been completely on point this game. And then again, we see Stubak coming in as a bit of the janitor. This time there was no... Oh, uh, this thing is real. So, so when everyone's chasing after that one threat in a big <laughs> line, they don't have as much line damage to throw at him. And eventually, they can pick up the most kills. But yes, Monty, wow. we need to take stock of this yeah. game because it has been so <laughs> That dragon was actually incredibly what important that SK yes. Telecom got it. And yeah. it may in fact be worth getting ace four because if they get number five, know. it really starts to change. Dragon was on fifty two health when Mark is the drive. PC master is still back maybe a little bit of trouble here. Marin is turning that's too <laughs> Faker who's gonna get the kill. Faker shut down gets that shut down Baker's starting to get scary, man. He's got death cap. He's got the voids now. That's a lot of damage. Now. 
for this Lulu, and they're going to push this monster. tier 2 turret. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're still powered up in this sense. A QSS has been doing the thing. If he finishes his blade of the Rune King, he will start being able to cut through Rain over Hooney. Are you threatening me? I'm just going to chase him because you can see him. Can you have more than one? I don't know if I have more than one of my cars yet. Yeah, I think one of them. I think one of them. Yeah, that'd be one of them. Someone took my car! I'm gonna buy a super. Oh yeah, but not the next coupon. Whoa! That would be an expensive car crash Someone took my car! Look at him. Oh, I got kicked out of my car, bro. Oh, that was his. Oh, no! Pretty much everything that Fnatic has gotten has been blown up because SKT is committed for those four dragons. Like oh, Fnatic wants this okay. hitter and the wolf is taking a lot of damage. Rain over coming so. in. Are they going to be able to get a kill? <laughs> Marin's behind that run moving in. Yeah, Marin trying to get a bit of a flank. What? They just need to protect that inhibitor, but they can't do it. Yeah, 10 grand for that. No, they can't. SKT turning things around. But Fnatic just waltzes in and takes the first inhibitor to the game. Big I think he's coming. By SK Telecom. Fnatic sees he's coming, he's coming. He's split off into the sideways. Yep. And they're able just to push straight down the middle. And take no the inhibitor. Baron up in a minute and a half. The Dragon up in a minute 45 too. That's a big one. Yeah, Fnatic has been yeah. so opportunistic in this game. Anytime oh. SKT commits, oh. Skruma. Quick. Oh. Some minion kills. They could go elsewhere. Where are they spawning? They're completed onto Bank now. Yeah. In the middle. Yeah. Chuck one at the exits. Yeah. One there, and then one both sides. Yeah. 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 And then one at the other side too. And then we just observe. Nah, 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 on the very little drive. See if they can ward up that dragon as well too. So the map. I believe in the Merry Dawn. They are setting the battleground. You know, can they win the fight though? Pass it. He went pass it. I'm gonna lose him, man. Fnatic still pushing forward. I mean, they're gonna get get some cards. I'll get one. Get a hold of the river once. Oh, I wanna watch this nigga blow up. So they're in a perfectly acceptable position at the time being. Assuming we don't see a crazy pick, this fight will. I'll stay. How Fnatic yeah. push through the tank line to get to Bang, and whether they get the first. Oh, hot ran over. Whoa, the wall. He comes with the flash, and he's gonna take a lot of damage. SK Telecom. Oh, uh, the my game froze apparently. And who need take a lot of damage? Nice old for Mara. Crashed. Hacking loss. Bounce back into the team, and now SK Telecom. <laughs> This game just continued in craziness as Sejuani dashed overall, then looked like it glitched back on the other side. But the yep. important thing here is still back critting Marin a couple wow. of times in a row and blowing him up. No they could then secure the dragon. SKT has the Baron. Well, this is part of the peril of going for the death cap build for Marin as well. I mean, Steelback is huge right now. Uh, 9, 2, and 7. No Zonia's on him yet. And he went for the damage, and in a way, he's paying for it. They need a little bit more frontline presence. Yeah, that may have been just a little bit too cocky. 
trying to go for that death cap instead of that zone just for the second item. Oh man, that's rough. Fnatic though. Got that dragon, they prevented the fifth. SK Telecom still on the back foot here. You can see they're not really able to use that Baron right now. Well, in that last team fight, you really saw the difference that the Blade of the Ruin King was making, too. They were finally able to focus down. Oh, Puni. Culling does a little bit of damage, not a ton. Oh, Bang, really going after Fnatic I mean, right now. This is Bang's moment. This is why yep. Lulu can be a good late game champion as well. If you have a capable AD carry who's been able to find this whole game, which he has, 384 CS, with the item build that he needs, he can cut through Fnatic if they don't quickly get onto him and execute him through thousands of health worth of shields. Plus, the bear buff means Fnatic pretty much has to fight on the next minion wave. Yep. Smart. Still split pushing, does have TP available. They want to make this a stand, like but Fnatic's so tanky that they, they can body block a lot of this damage. Mm. And have that good ass. SK Telecom moving into the top side of the map. You can find an angle up there. Big, big minion wave that Marin's built up. Cooney is just huge, though, but he's not going to be Meganar anytime soon. Getting closer now. Looks like Fnatic will be able to prevent this. SK Telecom, you get the impression that they may need to win a team fight here to push farther. Now, that turn's pretty low. Figure has Lich Bane, so they can split uh, push. Okay. Yeah, and they're going to be running Fnatic back and forth within their own base and shipping down these turrets during the duration of this Baron buff and basically force Fnatic to engage need Gara, or you have? through the zoning potential Catch. of Alistair, Nunu, and Rumble. Look at the, the chipping they've been able to do to both the mid and the top lane turrets right here. And since there's no flank for Fnatic, it's a very difficult fight for them to do. Huni actually just broke oh, yeah. This is SKT's turret to take. That's right. Take it, they do. Huni not too helpful at the moment with that. Narbar all the way down. Marin crashing a bit. Bang comes in as well. Huni has to retreat. Looks like this inhibitor may go down. So both mid inhibitors oh, now taken out for each team in SK Telecom. Oh, I'm just so much my super Are they going to go? So oh, Isn't that Ahmed? Oh no. 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 spikes as well as faker being able to shield them and when fanatic failed to get the flank in that final team fight after their inhibitor had gone down that's right in the wheelhouse of the team fight that skt wants oh yeah and you give them one of those fights they win the game yeah the kiting too from bang in that last fight and beautiful then, that's one of the things that i love about watching pl bang play lucian is he knows exactly the right time to turn and then clean up the fight yeah bang's lucian is really kind of getting to be something to be absolutely terrified of and so, with that, SK Telecom, <laughs> it was close, it was yeah. close, but still undefeated so. today. So now, guys, let's head to the analyst desk for some more insight into that game. I think he's expensive. 
Thank you, Doa. I mean, that game, that was an exciting game. We've we've seen some stomps, we've seen some surprising games, but this was a game that kept us on the no, edge of our seats for the that, entirety of it. I do love the fight that Fnatic put up. I love their aggression. These guys did not want to go down. I think that Fnatic exactly got what they wanted in this game. They got ahead in kills. Stebeck sadly, I don't again, behind in the CS. I think he has a average CS di differential by minus 25 CS by 20 minutes. And that's actually huge over all the games that he has played. Coming back though, Huni really huge for the team. Coming to the mid lane, getting the first look on Faker. Roaming twice before Marin, I think Wait, me was the reason they came out ahead really in the early game. My favorite part about the game was the compositions that, that these teams were running. The first one on Fnatic side is a heavy AoE run at you with Sivir. You got the Cassiopeia ulti for even more lockdown, Naris and Juani clump them together, and pile them onto your team. Lots of damage, and they play to that strength. On the other side, SKT's comp is more of a protect illusion composition, <laughs> where people kind of ulting the backline. You saw everybody pile driving with Lucian, trying to make sure that he stays dead, because Lulu isn't necessarily a carry, more of a supportive AP and Rumble. What's the button to bring up your guns in the car? very easy to blow up, and in the team fight, we cute. see how the yeah, ones that are the are the ones that they've managed to get all their damage on the bank. The ones that they lose, well, he barely He's throwing explosives, man. But it's a little bit of a misplay. Yeah, and the composition that uh, SKT was running is actually a really, really amazing composition, in my opinion, because Rumble's going to provide a Again? What the fuck? To cover that option. Lulu is well. How do I go from playing old old night yesterday? Crushing right now. Twice. And what it does is it's 15% of your AP if all of them hit. So off of that, that's 30% of his AP when you plus 100 base damage per shot. So Lucian's doing 320 extra damage. And that's why he's running through the team. And he gets a blade of the Rune King eventually to deal with the tanks because he's not a tank shredder naturally. Right? Fucking pizza shit game. 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 We saw pretty much defend the Lucian against, it's... go on the Lucian as hard as you can. And that is a style that Fnatic is really used to play and what we saw them going actually into the... What a loser. I got out my own pick. Instantly kill them, but I feel this is really a comfortable champion tool that they went for this game and executed perfectly. <laughs> really on point with the lockdown. I think Fnatic played most of the fights very well, but I do think that Bengi was lackluster in understanding his role within that composition. We saw him try to be a frontline and kind of distract it on the side. With, he was very tanky, you know, he's going for a bit of a magic with his build. You can't stand in the frontline versus a composition that has so much damage mm -hmm. from Fnatic, you need to be really far back with Illusion and use your snowball on the Nar. The Nar auto attack hurt a lot. Use it on the Sejuani. Don't stand in front of the Sivir. That's why Sivir's not a hyper carry because she's a short range mage. Uh, I wish I could just don't go to the sticky fucking markers. I want to jump into our sticky guy. 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 Sticky guy.
that I feel could be the downfall of them in this tournament if they can't shore up those weaknesses. I think SKD, SKT did a really good job of playing to their strengths and playing to the weaknesses of Fnatic. They exploited Steelback. As soon as Steelback was down in CS and they bullied that lane, we would see Marin, he'd die in the lane, he'd be like, okay, TP to a minion to just stop him from farming again. And then his Steelback would go up to the jungle, Nunu would walk in and steal the wolves that he was trying to do. They're just trying to starve him out and make sure he didn't get anything and get into the game at all. All right, well, that being said, SKT mm -hmm. are leading up to this, yep, has averaged about a 1.2 Just get me. Marin had the highest average gold lead for, uh, in at MSI of anyone, 750. Uh, didn't happen here, though. Yep. And I think that is something that I want to look at in terms of what can teams learn from what Fnatic did to give themselves a better shot earlier on against SKT. Well, even against the Turkish team, SKT has been notorious for giving quite a few early kills, and uh, Fnatic took advantage of that greatly. Good roam by them, and really sticking to the game plan, knowing where the weaknesses of SKT lie. And, you know, eventually you take so many game fights, and you're bound to come to win such team fights with that game. <laughs> is that a little gap in between the two not considered fucking... Yeah, this is bullshit. I think he killed you, but not me. You know, like I was fucking chasing him for? It was just ignoring me. Somebody is like getting pushed in and they they do something they don't expect. I didn't see any kind of like this before cool. in the tournament. They were really not expecting it yeah. to hit them hard. That's really big. I feel like... No door is the access, son. He's a dead team. Because this is something that SK Telecom used to do with Impact though. in the top lane season 3 before TP was <laughs> so you get the stickies on this and you're like, whoa, 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 why is the top lane? Two? Why do I have two? And they would snowball that I bought so many in the thing. So I think that people should take away from this that top layers need to be aggressive sometimes and actually go to the other lanes and almost be like a second jungler sometimes after you shut the lane. The next thing I want to bring up here is the pick you trying to punch me? against SKT. Again, we've talked about the threats on their team. Baker, you always have to ban the LeBlanc. The Lulu, though, that comes out, and how this is kind of this. So this. I got one more sticky left. People always Lulu complain about, like, like, DPS, like oh, good luck spending money on insurance. Well. I'm gonna have to disagree. Like, I'll do one mission per fucking car blow, I don't give a fuck. The LeBlanc and the Rex, so three other key champions that have been undefeated for quite a long time. And you're just gonna have to take it.